In order to support COVID-19 containment and isolation efforts, Dimagi has partnered with Turn and WhatsApp to develop a new solution called the Community Pulse. It is an SMS and WhatsApp-based solution for community-based monitoring, daily tracking, frontline follow-up, and case management of COVID-19 symptoms that employs a powerful system, ComCare, for case management. ComCare ensures that all patient symptoms are stored over time, which allows frontline healthcare workers to organize and prioritize patients based on severity of symptoms while tracking when and where the outbreak has spread. On the screen, you will see two WhatsApp windows. Let's imagine the right one to be of a frontline worker and the left one to be of, com of a community member of interest or a CMI. Whenever a frontline worker's number is entered on Comcare HQ, they receive a joining link on their WhatsApp number or an SMS number. When they reply back with the joining code to the number, they are registered as a frontline worker and can directly start registering and tracking patients and simultaneously allow for patients to monitor themselves daily, also via messaging. For clients who do not have a phone, healthcare workers will use messaging to follow up on their cases as well from their own numbers. I have here registered a few CMIs already on the frontline workers WhatsApp number. Let's see how the frontline worker can now register a new CMI who has their own phone. For this, the frontline worker will be typing in the registration code. Once they send the registration code, they receive a message asking them for the name of the CMI they wish to register. When they type in the name, they're asked whether the CMI has their own phone or not. I'm going to respond with yes. Once we say that the CMI has their own phone, it asks for the CMI's number. Once I enter the number, this is the end of the registration process for the frontline worker, while at the same time, the CMI, whose number it is, will receive a message like this. Here we see that the CMI has received a message saying that the frontline worker has indicated that they would like to receive the daily screening messages. And to confirm the same, they will have to respond with yes. Once I respond with yes, my frontline, uh, they confirm the name given to me by my frontline worker. I go through a few of these basic questions, which include asking my age, my phone number, whether I would like to record my address, my gender, etc. Once that process is complete, I will have to do a quick one-time survey which would record some basic details, whether asking me about whether I have some underlying conditions or not that might make me more susceptible to the virus. This process is followed by a registration confirmation that I will get on my number. And at the same time, the CMI will also receive this confirmation that I have completed my registration. Like this. It tells me that I am registered now and that my screening will begin today onwards. I have also received my first daily screening message and at the same time, my frontline worker just received a message saying that I have completed my registration. The first set of questions that come in the daily screening are of emergency symptoms. The entire set of questions have been developed based on latest information released by CDC and WHO and is divided into multiple categories, such as for the emergency symptoms like these followed by symptoms that require immediate self-isolation and symptoms that might probably be related to COVID-19. And each of these responses would trigger different kinds of alerts and warnings for the frontline worker. I'm going to respond to some of these questions as yes. And I see here that given I have responded to yes to some of the questions that require self-isolation, I receive a message saying you should begin to self-isolate and social distance if I haven't done it already. At the same time, I'm informed that my frontline worker will be instructed to monitor me closely for the 10 
for the next 10 days. I have a few more questions left to complete my daily check-in. I'm going to respond no to the rest of the symptoms. This is the end of my daily screening. I am again told that I shall self-isolate. And at the same time, my frontline worker has received a message saying that I have recorded a warning and that she can look at the warnings that she has by typing in the word on her WhatsApp. The frontline worker can also do check-in for all the CMIs she has registered on her phone that do not have their own phone by typing in check-in whenever. Upon typing check-in, she will receive a list of CMIs. As you can see that it shows I do not have any CMIs that are due for an update right now. However, if we scroll a little above, we see that upon writing check-in, I got a message which CMI would you like to screen? I selected the CMI available at that time and I got the first message which was of the emergency symptoms. On typing one for the emergency symptoms, the app asks me each of these symptoms individually to see which ones are, is the CMI showing and which ones the CMI is not displaying. I type one to some and no to others. Whenever a CMI by themselves or by the frontline worker triggers an emergency symptom, that is the end of their daily screening for the day and an alert is triggered to the frontline worker at the same time. The frontline worker can see all the alerts available for her by typing in alert. Here, I see a list of my CMIs who have already triggered alert. I can choose which CMIs alert I would like to respond to. I select Chandler. Here, they ask me if I have contacted the CMI to address the emergency. I type one. They ask me to record my response. You see, the frontline worker at this stage can record the response and then the app asks them if they wish to respond to the next alert. I'm going to respond no here. I can also find out the list of warnings available for me by typing in warning. When I type in warning, I get a list of CMIs which have generated warning. We just saw that Janice had generated a warning on her app. So I'm going to respond to two. I would like to see Janice's warning. Uh, here, I see the list of symptoms that triggered the warning. Once I look at this, I could either review the next warning or I could say no. This would be the end of the warning interface. Do note here that the CMI can opt out of the daily screening and if they confirm to do so, the frontline worker would receive a message telling them that their CMI has opted out of the daily screening. At the same time, the frontline worker can also choose to remove the CMIs they are doing the daily screening for. The exact same workflow is also replicated on text messages. As you can see, it's exactly the same flow as we just saw on WhatsApp. And therefore, the daily screening process would remain the same whether used via WhatsApp or via SMS.